There's a new drug of choice in New Mexico that's causing problems like the state's never seen before. So why is fentanyl so prevalent in New Mexico? KRQE News 13 investigative reporter Gabrielle Burkhardt highlights the challenges our state is up against and a warning, some of the video you're about to see is disturbing. I would consider it to be poison. We have ODs constantly. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. This is disgusting and it should never happen. But more often, law enforcement agencies are responding to calls like this. Lapel video captures officers in Carlsbad rushing into a backyard last year to find a 12 year old boy dying in his family's shed. CPR started. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Police and first responders frantically try to save the boy's life. Come on, Brent. Come on, baby. His mother tells police she knows he overdosed. I could smell the hidden smoke and fentanyl. Police say 12 year old Brent Sullivan died from this fentanyl overdose. The officer who tried saving him <sighs> is in disbelief. Give me just a minute. Just kid. Investigators find out what happened from the boy's grandmother. Ma'am, this is all important information that fentanyl. fentanyl? He took fentanyl. Yeah, he had taken her drugs yesterday and we we uh come on boys, come on boys, come on boys. Kelly Smith holds one of her infant grandchildren as she talks to police. Shock turns to anger as they hear more. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. We got a we got a twelve year old boy dead. His mom's addicted to drugs. He stole some pills from his mom yesterday. How long has he been using? He's OD'd. This is the fourth time he's OD'd. Fourth time he's OD'd on fentanyl. Brent's mom, Alexis Smith, along with his grandma, Kelly Smith, went to jail on charges of child abuse resulting in death for creating that dangerous situation. Both of them are still in custody pending trial. Brent Sullivan's story is being shared by law enforcement to warn parents and communities about the dangers of fentanyl. Investigators say his family knew there was a problem and didn't seek help until it was too late. We're tired of it. We're tired of our citizens dying, being killed by this poison. We're sick of the violent crime that accompanies it. We've had enough. A fired up Eddy County Sheriff Mark Cage vowed earlier this year that law enforcement across the state is taking it up a notch. During the three month operation Blue Crush, federal agencies partnered with local departments this year to seize 119 pounds of fentanyl and made hundreds of arrests. Like, we have to do this. We have to get the word out. Three months after that announcement, the FBI made its largest fentanyl bust in bureau history in Albuquerque, recovering more than a million fentanyl pills. That's enough fentanyl to have killed thousands of people. I've spent the majority of my career working in narcotics. Lieutenant Ryan Nelson is part of the Albuquerque uh, Police Department's fentanyl Narcotics fentanyl Division. We have four detectives and one sergeant. Considering the scope of the problem, which we all know, you know is pretty large now, is, is that enough? No, I, I don't think it's enough. His team, he says, seizes thousands of pills on a regular basis, overwhelming federal caseloads. They're stumbling upon this kind of quantity of drugs quite frequently. Inside APD's drug evidence vault, across from shelves of seized marijuana from old cases, are bins full of opioids. Illicit fentanyl is made to look like real Oxycontin painkillers, but a single two milligram pill, 100 times more powerful than morphine, highly addictive and cheap, can be lethal. If you see a big bulk of marijuana, for example, huge, a brick of cocaine, of meth, or of heroin, you've seen those. But a thousand pills of fentanyl can fit in the palm of your hand. It's a much easier thing to smuggle. Agents with the DEA and Homeland Security say most of it's coming across the border from Mexican drug cartels. So they're driving addiction, and that, that turns into profits. If it kills 
108,000 Americans in the process, it doesn't matter. That's just the cost of doing business for the cartels. Social media also changed the game for drug traffickers. It used to be you had to know someone. Now online platforms give dealers a level of anonymity, which agents say is even more dangerous. You get both sides coming armed to a deal, and um, that ends as bad as you'd think. We, we get a lot of shootings. A lot of homicides uh, based off of internet sales. APD now has detectives using social media in undercover buys. And platforms like Snapchat have disabled accounts that market images of the blue pills. But for every big bust, there are countless deals going undetected. And Nelson worries young people may find taking pills or smoking fentanyl less risky than experimenting with other drugs. Kid was 12 years old, Jim. Yeah, no. One experimentation could be game over. Don't tire of having these conversations with your loved ones. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE Investigates. Kelly Smith, the grandmother of the boy who died, has been in trouble before, arrested for trafficking heroin. She and her daughter Alexis are set to go to trial on child abuse charges next year.